Dobrý den, welcome back. Has it ever happened to you that you're watching a Czech movie or you hear people speak on the street and they say something like Co tady dělaj? Or Já nevím. Or a very common phrase Děkujem. And then you think something is missing there. Did I hear all of it, right? In this video I want to show you how Czech verbs in the present tense work a little bit different, some forms look slightly different in common Czech. That is, when we speak informally. Jdeme na to! Ahoj! Vítejte na mém kanále Czech by Zuzka, kde vám pomocí angličtiny vysvětluju českou gramatiku. In my previous videos I have already talked about common check and how it's different when we use adjectives. But you can say velký pes instead of velký pes, which is the standard check. I also talked about the colloquial forms or the forms in the common check for past tense. You might remember that there are specific pronouns that could be abbreviated or could have a slightly different form for the past tense and guess what for the present tense as well the only problem is that it's kind of random it almost feels like a game oh this one is going to be different here this group is going to have a difference here etc so i want to introduce these four conjugational groups and I will show you which forms are different in common Czech. So let's look at the first group, the blue group as I call it sometimes, or the A group because all these verbs have A in every person. First I am going to write the normal conjugation, how we use present tense. So I want to use the verb meet to have. Let's uh, conjugate it. Standard check would be ja, mám, ty, máš, on, or ona, má, my, máme, vy, máte, oni, mají. This is the normal conjugation. The standard check, oni, in common check would have a different form simply taking away the last letter, the I. So you say oni mai in common Czech, oni mai. Mai pravdu, they're right. If you think of another verb that falls into this category, for example, začínat, začína to start, it would be the same, začínají is the proper form, začínají, oni začínají, without the last vowel. So the change is in oni form. Now let's look at the second group, the green group or the E group. For example, the verb to know, vědět. Standard check would be já vím, ty víš, on ví, my víme, vy víte, oni ví or also vědí. This one has two forms. In this group, two forms would be different in common Czech. It would be já, instead of vím, we simply make vím, the i becomes short, vím. Já vím, já nevím. And instead of saying oni vědí or oni ví, we would say oni vědějí, vědějí. So here we add a at the end. In this case it's e with háček, vědějí, oni vědějí. If you had a verb such as bydlet, bydlet, instead of saying oni bydlí or bydlej, you would say oni bydlej, bydlej. So we would usually be adding an ending ej or e with an accent. Let's try with a couple of verbs. Bydlet, like I said, instead of ja bydlím, you might hear bydlím, ja bydlím, oni bydlej. With mislet, to think, you could hear Já myslím a oni myslej, oni myslej. Končit, to end, já končím, končím a oni končej. Let's take a look at uh, the remaining two groups. The third one is verbs that end in O-V-A-T or the orange group. 
By the way, these references uh, I use in one of my worksheets when you look at these tables, conjugational tables. Here is uh, how I differentiate these groups. You can also purchase this worksheet with these tables on buy me a coffee. You can find the link below. It's an overview of most common Czech verbs and their conjugation in present tense. So for this uh, group, I want to use the verb děkovat to think. Yeah, děkuju or děkuji. I'm just going to use this one form. Ty děkuješ, on děkuje, my děkujeme, vy děkujete, oni děkují or děkují. Only one form is affected and that would be my. In common Czech, we drop the E and we just say děkujem, děkujem, we thank you. When you think about another verb, for example, pracovat, it would be pracujem, pracujem. So M at the end without the E. And the last group, which is usually full of irregular verbs, and uh, I refer to it as the pink group or red group, it has a lot of uh, letters E in it, in the endings. Let's uh, work with the verb číst to read again. The regular standard check. Já čtu, ty čteš, on, ona čte, my čteme, vy čtete, oni čtou. Guess what happened here? Also the pronoun me is affected. We can also drop the e here and we say čtem. So these two groups are exactly the same. Mečtem. Can you think of another verb? For example, psát. To write. My píšeme or my píšem. Píšem. I told you that it was random and that it felt like a game. Let's make a summary. So these are the four groups. A group such as dělat or mít. Then E group such as vědět. Then the OVAT ending in the infinitive form, and the last one is the irregular verb. So, which pronouns can change in common Czech? This group is oni, oni dělaj. This group is já and oni, já vím, oni věděj. Short letter and adding ej. Here it's taking away the last letter. My děkujeme, we take away the last letter, děkujem. And here it's also for the my pronoun, we take away the last letter as well. When you look at it this way, it might not be as confusing, right? Now, it actually doesn't affect only the present tense conjugation, also the future tense. All the perfective verbs that follow this conjugation, for example, if the verb dělat had a prefix, udělat, it would be the same thing. Udělaj. Oni udělaj. For example, another perfective verb, najít, to find. You say najdu, I will find. Uh, it falls into this group. Standard check is my najdeme. Najdeme. But the common check would be najdem, taking away the last e. And that's all. As usual, I'm going to point out that this is something that you don't need to use. I don't encourage you to use it. It will help you, however, with understanding what this form is or what it means when someone uses uh, forms like this. What does it mean? It means that that person is relaxed, is comfortable. It's not in a formal situation where things have to be said properly. We do not write this in an official document, for example. We can text it, it's okay. Let's practice with a quick exercise. You are going to see sentences that are already in the common check. You have a mixture of present tense and future tense. Every sentence contains forms like these. And I want you to take a look at it and replace them by the proper forms, by the forms in the standard check. Pause the video and work on it. And the correct results are here. Well done. This is all from me today. If you're interested in this topic of uh, common Czech, colloquial Czech, I recommend my video courses When Czech Stories Are Never Better, part one and part two. You will see a lot of expressions like these that we often use 
Do you have an interesting form like this that uh, you heard and maybe it's something that threw you off? Share it in the comments. Thanks for watching! Niete se krásne, ahoj!